after I've got this all cleaned up, I'm then going to turn the tire back to its original straight position. And I will take one more photograph of the sidewall that is completely marked up with one, two, three, four, so that when I do end up with that unique characteristic that say was in section seven, I know where it is in relationship to the sidewall of the tire. So when we have to go back and look for it, and I say, I found a unique spot in section seven, that means it's right here, and I can find it very quickly. It allows me to find where that, that you know, where mark or whatever it happens to be. Once I have it in this position, I'm going to get out my chart board. We will use again about four of these for a tire. One revolution of a, fifth, or of a 15 inch tire is about seven and a half feet. If you start getting the bigger tires, you might need longer chart boards or, a little, or one extra one. Generally in the kit, you get 16 of these, one for each tire. But in many cases at your crime scene, you're not gonna have 16. You may only have, or I'm sorry, you won't have four tire impressions. You might only have one or two, so you should have enough in a kit. If you didn't have these, what could you do? Go to Office Max, Staples, wherever, uh, Michaels, where they got poster board, and get a nice thick poster board. I would even suggest going a little wider than this because when we try to track the tire along this, after we ink it, sometimes we have a tendency to go a little bit crooked and we'll end up going off the chart board. We don't want to have that happen. The reason we use have four of these is one, it's easier to tra transport, and two, we may have to shift them laterally as we're moving from one section to the next if we're not tracking properly. If I'm going on a little bit of an angle and I turn the steering wheel to get back on track, the whole board will turn. So what I'll end up doing is as we're laying this down, if I'm tracking sideways, the next board, instead of lining it up like this, I'll just offset it so we go from one on to the next. The very first one I'm going to use, I'm going to mark down on here what tire I'm, I'm, this exemplar is going to be from. If I'm going to do all four, I need to know that this is the passenger side front tire. I'll write that right on here. And I'm going to do it along the edge because this is going to be inked along the center. So I want to indicate which tire it is. I want to indicate what direction the travel is. In this case, I'm rolling in this direction. I'm going to put an arrow here and say rotation or direction of travel. If I was backing it up, I would write down vehicle backed up and then put it in this direction. After I indicate that, I also have to know what order these come in. After they're inked up, if I've got four of these, they could go in any order and they might get reversed. I need to know which side of the tire is the inside and which side is the outside area. So I will write outside right here so I know the exact position. I also want to know that this is number one or my A section. I would need to know that this next one is going to be my B section. So what I like to do is right on here, I'll write the letter A and then the letter B. So I know that this one comes right after this. The reason I use the letters is because I'm using numbers here. Sometimes when we number the tire, we don't necessarily go one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes we, we number them backwards because we're rotating the tire backwards. So it goes one, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and so on. I'm going to get my first chart board right here, my second piece just beyond it. At this point, I would use whatever I'm going to use to uh, create the contrast would be either an ink pad or we can actually use Pam cooking spray. We can also use silicone shoe shine. I've heard people using Vaseline. There's a number of different things that we can use. 